Hi friends, my name is Prasad and you're watching Power BI with Prasad. Today I come up with a new real-time scenario. Uh, let's discuss what's the requirement. Here I do have multiple measures. I want to show them as a values of a table column. This is my requirement. I do have multiple measures of count of sales of different sales ranges. I want to show them as values of a table column. Again, we don't have this call table. We need to create that one and then we need to uh, show these measures as the row values in this one. This is my requirement. So let's get started. So before starting, I just want to have a small intro. Like we are training for Power BI and SQL badges. We are starting soon a new batch with from basics to advanced with all real-time uh, scenarios. If you are interested to uh, learn Power BI with us, please contact on this number. And then again, let's come okay uh, for the solution. So what is the table that we do have? So I do have an order table. And in that, you can find the sales. There are different okay, ranges of sales. You can see um, uh, the sales between okay, 100 and 200, 500, 1,000, and a lot of different ranges. So what we need is to find okay, the sales which are in 0 to 1,000. Those things, okay, the second, okay, second measure need to be the sales, uh, the count of sales, which are in the range of like 1,001 to like, uh, one at one to like 1,000, and then uh, the other one is like the sales, which are the count of sales, which are like 1,000, between 1,001 and then 10,000. And this is, okay, the count of sales, okay, whose sales is greater than 10,000. As we already seen our table, we have different sales, and then you can see a lot of sales are, are below 100, and some of them are okay, above 100, and then some of them are okay, like uh, above 1,000. Okay, you can see from here, and then some of them are above uh, 10,000 also. We do have that kind of sales. So if that particular sale comes into that particular um, range, then I want to count that one as one, and then okay, I want to keep on counting like that. First of all, I want to create this measure. So we can create that, that again. I created this measure, calculate count of order sales. And my filter is order sales need to be greater than zero and order sales need to be less than or equal to 100. Sales which are greater than zero and then okay, less than or equal to 100, I want to count all the sales. So you can get like this. The second one is nothing but a similar kind of thing. But again, like our condition is should be like our order sales should be greater than zero and then less than or equal to 1000. The third condition is also like similar one, but okay, the condition also only changes. Count of, calculate count of order sales, the sales column, I'm just counting over here. And after that, you give a condition as order sales need to be greater than thousand and order sales less than or equal to thousand. And uh, some people ask like, okay, why do we use okay, Amber's double A percent? It's nothing but okay, a representation of end function. If you don't want to use that one, you can simply write end and then I'll show you that version also. If you don't want to use this end function, so simply get comma and then write end over here. So end of that particular thing, whatever the conditions that you need to write. So that both the conditions need to be true. So simply kick in same value, value doesn't change. So you can write uh, using end function or else you can write using, okay, double ambassador. Again, here I don't have any uh, two conditions. I do ha I have only one condition. So I want to calculate count of sales. I need to, the count of sales, whose sales are greater than 10,000. Only one logic over here. Earlier we used to have, okay, two, two logics. First one is like order sales need to be greater than 1,000. The second logic is order sales need to be less than or equal to 10,000. Whenever both the conditions are true, then only, okay, so the filter will be happened on this particular orders table, and then this would be counted. So this is our four measures. So I created four measures over here. And then here, our main scenario is to place these measures as values in this particular table. Again, I don't have this kind of table over here. 
So I need to create a table and then for that particular table, I want to show these four measures as row values in a column. So how can we do that? For that, first we need to create a column like this, a table like this with a serial number and then sales range. So I want to go for a okay, uh, uh, um, table function and then I want to create that. So we can go, go for modeling and then create a new table and then write the tax function. So how we can write that one? Here I've been already written that one. You can see that. Data table, I've been taken the data table function so that in line you can create a table. So here in this particular data table, okay, what are the things that you need to write? You need to write the column name and the data type of the column. And then if you want to write multiple column names, you need to write again the column name and the data type. So once done with the column names and data types, you can write the data. So how have I been written over here? I've been taken serial number. Okay, this particular column I created over here. And then I made the data type as integer. Again, I made, uh, I created another sales range column, you can see over here, I created this column. In that column, okay, I want to keep it as a string. So again, I want to enter the data. So I enter the data. Data should be in the curly braces always. So here I do have like a couple of rows. So I created again, like uh, uh, each and every row in a particular curly braces. One, and then the sales in one to 100. Again, like that two, second row, and then two column values. So second row, uh, serial number value I've been given over here, and sales range value I've been given over here. Like that, three and sales in 1,001 and then 10,000. So like that, I've been created four rows, and then this table was created. Right now, I don't have this particular measure, so uh, I'm just taking this one. This is my table right now. The one I taken from here, the table, serial number column, and then sales range, um, Mm, uh, column. I've been taking these two columns, and right now I want to show all these measures as column values in this particular table. How can we do that? So for that, my logic. I'll explain you the logic how we can do that. First of all, we'll check whether we have a value in this particular column or not. So we, it will come to this particular uh, row, and then it will check. Okay, we need to check. Uh, whether we have a value or not. If we do have a value, then what value is there in this one? So based upon that okay, value, we need to place that particular measure. So that is our concern and then that is our requirement. So how we can do that one? For that I've been written a measure again, another measure with the name of sales count. In that what I've been taken? What I've been taken? So here, I've been, I want to check the condition whether I have a value in the sales range or not, first of all. For that, I need to check whether if uh, we do have a value or not, first of all, for that, I want to check okay, the value of that particular sales range. So how to check that one? So if in that one, my condition is has one value, what does this function do? Has one value function will check whether we have a value or not. If have a value, then it will uh, shows it true as an output. If we doesn't have any value in that particular okay, column, in that particular row, so it shows the false as an output. So I'll give this as a condition for if statement. So what it will do right now, if has one value of this particular column. So if we have a value in this particular column, then I want to like, apply this particular second step. If I don't have any value, I don't want to apply this step. I, again, I want to just come out and then in the false condition, I don't want to give the false condition. This is the true condition. And then again, we can give a false condition, but here I don't want to have a false condition. If it doesn't have a value, then I don't want to show anything. So I don't want to write anything in false value. And again, here, what we are trying to write in this true part. If we have a value in this particular column, so in this particular row, if we have a value, that's fine. We'll check for the first row and then checks whether we have a row value. Yes, we have a value. Then it will go into this. And then I've been written a switch function in that selected value of that particular sales range. 
So it will go to the first row and then it will text what is the value of that particular first row, selected value of here, uh, of this particular column. And then if that particular selected value is sales in one to 100, then I want to show this particular measure. If the, if it, if the value in that particular okay, column is sales in one to 100, one to 1,000, then I want to show this one. So in the same way, if the value is this one, I want to show this measure. If the value is this one, I want to show this measure. This is what I've been written. Using switch function and the value over there, I want to like filter which measure need to be shown over there using the switch function, simply. And I kept it as a true fun true part, so that whenever we have a value, it will come and then check what value is there. If we have any value, uh, which are in this, so that those are uh, those are the things that have been placed over here, and then the respective measure will be shown over there. Then again, as I told earlier, as I told earlier, in the switch function also, I didn't took the false value or else uh, the else value. Sorry, in the switch function we'll have else value. I don't want to take any else value because I don't want to show any default value. So here I didn't write any else value, which is completely optional, right? And then here in the if condition, the earlier if condition, if the has one value, if this particular column doesn't have any value, I don't want to show anything. So here also in the if statement, after this true condition, the false condition I did not write over here, and then I made it blank and then I closed the function. Right now, what it will do is this function, this measure, it will check to this row. And then if we have any value, then it will go into the switch function and then checks the value over here. And then this is the value. And then obviously it will show us this particular measure. So if the value is, if it, and then again, it comes to the second row, then it will check whether it has any value. Yes, it has any value, it has a value. And then what is the value? If the value here in the second row is, this one, show this one, this one, show this one. Here in the second row, the condition is this one. The value is this one. So obviously I'll show that one. So in that way, it will show that. So let me okay, uh, take that particular measure over here and then you can see the value. So we take the measure and then those measures, all the four measures will be shown as the values of the particular column. So hope we have been uh, successfully done our requirement. And then if you have any other requirements, just put in my comments. And then if you, are if you are watching this video till now, I hope you are liked the video. Please hit the thumbs up button and then subscribe and then hit the bell icon. People are forgetting okay, to hit the bell icon so that if you can hit that one, okay, my regular updates, you'll get it. And then you can practice on that one. So thank you for today. And then I'll come up with another uh, new real-time scenario very soon. Until then, Bye. Have a great day.